We are back. We are back. We are back. And you know what else is back? My books from CBCS that I went to Terrificon uh, last summer. And I had some books that I dropped off that I had signed and witnessed. And they took 10 months to come back to me. Uh, full disclosure, I've had these books about uh, three or four weeks and I haven't been able to make a YouTube video. But they were away from me for 10 months and I've gotten them back and they're finally here. And I want to show them off. I want to make a video because Terrificon is coming up again the end of this month. And I'm going with my wife and her cousins. And uh, we're going to have a good time because that's uh, Terrificon, if you don't know is a comic book convention that is held at an Indian casino in Connecticut at Mohegan Sun. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's a lot of fun. And it's the first uh, convention that I went to in almost 30 years. And I did a video on that on my channel. It's like the first comic book video on this channel. So you can go back and watch that to see some of the other books that I picked up. And I did talk about these books a little bit and I finally got them back and I'm making a video now. Um, so I had them, uh, witnessed and signed by a CB, CBCS um, representative to, to watch me in the line. And uh, as I said, I had not um, gone to a convention in, the, in nearly 30 years, and the whole comic book convention had changed by then. So what did I do? I called my good friend, Hialeah Comic Bro. Uh, he has a fabulous YouTube channel, and he is a comic book veteran. He Goes to a lot of shows in the Florida area. He lives in Miami and he goes to like, I think Orlando and Tampa and all over and goes to a lot of shows. So he knows all about signing witnesses and all of that good stuff. So he hooked me up with all the information because I had never gotten any books uh, signed. Uh, well, I got books signed before, but never like witnessed and slabbed and all that stuff. So I didn't know how to do that. And he walked me through it. What a good pal. Uh, I can't thank him enough. Love him. He's great. Um, yeah. Highly a comic bro. Go check him out. So he instructed me on how to do this so um i went and i uh brought some books and i got two uh sets of books uh well two books signed um by two different artists really three books all together but uh two by one and one by the other and the first one is uh jim starlin the creator of thanos the infinity gauntlet and all that good stuff and you can see that uh jim starlin he signed right here um uh, that's his signature so this is uh, a copy that I've been sitting on um, since the early 90s. Let's see, 1991. Now, I bought about five or six copies of this when this first came out in the early 90s. And I had them in the same exact bag and board all that time. And uh, I never changed them out and, um, until I went to this convention. Then I put them in fresh bags and boards and uh, brought them. So I was able to actually get a 9-8 on comic books that I've been sitting on for close to 30 years, over 30 years, and with the same bag and board. So uh, CBCS gave me a nice 9-8. Uh, I met Jim Starlin. He was nice. Um, I got a, a, some raw books signed, and I got a nice lithograph from my friend, Hylia, that I mentioned, because uh, he loves Jim Starlin, and since he was nice enough to walk me through the whole process, uh, I got him a lithograph that I sent to him, and uh, it was signed by Jim Starlin, so nice. This is some George Perez art. Uh, absolutely love Infinity Gauntlet. This is where it all started for me with, um, you know, with Thanos and all that good stuff and uh, a lot of the MCU and all of that. So this is a classic cover. Of course, um, cover done by the late, great George Perez. Um, just just spectacular. So this is a, uh, I believe, six-issue uh, miniseries that had plenty of tie-ins and all kinds of stuff. So this is a classic cover that everyone knows and it's been you know it's on posters and t-shirts and everything it's great it's fantastic but there is another cover from this series that i love even more personally and i also got it signed by uh jim starlin and um uh, i'll show it to you now pretty cool it is this one this is infinity gauntlet number four i absolutely love this cover check out thanos man what a badass he is says come and get me so, yeah, and then here's uh, Jim Stiles' autograph right along here. Uh, he was really into it. He couldn't have been more of a gentleman. He was spectacular. What a great thrill to finally meet him because I'd never seen him before. I'd never met him, anything like that. Um, what a great guy. Boy, shook my hand. I took some pictures with him and everything um, that my wife was able to take. Just he was in a good mood and, and just happy to see everybody. And uh, I caught him after he came back from like a food break. Uh, like his lunch or whatever, because it's kind of like either a late lunch or an early dinner, however you want to look at it. 
and he returned and there was nobody at his table. So I like ran over there and, and um, when I saw him, you know, he was ready to sign and, and uh, you know, do the whole meet and greet thing with everyone. So this, I love this cover more than the, the other one that I showed. Even though the, the first one is more of a classic, I love this one. And um, this is great because this is a uh, direct edition, as you can tell here, but it doesn't have any kind of uh, boxes or any kind of junk on the bottom there. Um, Cause sometimes when you get the newsstand, I believe there's like a little box right here and it's kind of intrusive for this artwork. So for this thing, I will take it in the direct edition every time. Cause it's just great. More uh, George Perez uh, goodness there. Spectacular. Awesome. Again, this was um, sitting in the same back and board uh, in my house in Boston for 30 plus years until I moved here to New York and I brought it down and um, just uh, proof positive that uh, you can get 9.8s on books if uh, the, the bag and board is old. You can do it, but I, <laughs> I don't recommend uh, keeping them that that long. It just sort of happened to me, you know. But so that was great. So met uh, met uh, Jim Starlin and uh, had him sign, and he was a perfect gentleman. Loved him. Great experience. Wow, that was good. So the other person that I met um, when I went was Dan Jurgens of uh, Death of Superman fame. Now, I know you guys have probably seen this book, you know, 100 billion times because it's one of the most famous books ever made. And it's only a 9.0. Um, but when I got uh, the information that uh, Terrificon was happening through one of my wife's cousins, I had less than, I don't know, maybe like five or six days to, to round up a book that I wanted to get signed by him. And I didn't want to get just a, any regular Death of Superman book. What I got was um, this book is the fourth printing. Because if you look here, there's a Roman numeral four. You can see it right there. And this thing is a newsstand. Um, so just bring it there so you can see. See the little Roman numeral four? That's how you can tell the different printings if you're not good at reading the barcodes on uh, on the uh, on the newsstand. So this thing is uh, signed by uh, Dan Jurgens. It is a newsstand and is it a four, and it's a fourth print. And he was great. He didn't charge any money whatsoever for his autograph. All he wanted was he had a, um, like a little like tip jar kind of thing for a charity that he's a affiliated with. I believe it's the Heroes Initiative, but I'm not exactly sure. Please don't quote me. Um, so of course I was happy to throw a few bucks into that because um, he, he, he didn't charge me at all. And uh, you know, he was great. And um, I had met him a little earlier in the day. Um, and this was the first um, first book that uh, I got signed by him. So it's funny with CBCS is they do um, verified signatures and witness signatures. So this is a witness signature. And it says here, witness uh, signature, Dan Jurgens on July 31st, uh, 2021. So um, sometimes you can send in books that are already signed by other people and they'll do their best to like verify them. So that's just like their expert opinion. They think it's real, they think it's authentic. Um, and that would say verified, but this is a witness signature. In other words, there was somebody who worked for CBCS um, who stood in the line with me to get it signed and, uh, and then take my uh, submission form and uh, take custody of my books. So this is a witness signature. And um, when I went to this convention, I thought CGC was going to be there, but they were not. So uh, CBCS was there and uh, I went with those guys instead. They were there maybe because of COVID and maybe because of staffing shortages or maybe there was a convention in another town somewhere. I don't really know. But anyhow, um, I went with CBCS. I don't have a lot of CBCS books. These were the only three that I got signed um, while I was there. But... Um, so these are my convention books, and they took 10 months to come back to me. I couldn't believe it. It took so long. Why, I have no idea. But um, I like the cases. The cases are pretty cool, pretty sharp. I like them. Um, I only have uh, a few CBCS books, and I pulled them all out for you today. So this is the end of my Terrificon books, and I have two other slabs that I'm going to show you that round out the rest of my CBCS uh, collection. So, um, so pretty, pretty uh, nice experience I had with uh, Terrificon and, and CBCS, except for the long, long wait. But, um, you know, nothing you can do about that. But, uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. This is a fourth um, printing, um, and it has, like, a different color uh, 
trade dress and, and, and has a lot going for it. I know it's only 9.0, but hey, you know, they, they all can't be 9.8s. And I had such short notice to uh, gather a book that I wanted Dan Jurgens to sign. So yeah, his signature is right in here. So pretty cool. So that concludes my Terrificon uh, portion. I have two other CBCS books that I'm going to sh uh, show off just to talk about CBCS a little bit. So the other one that I have is this one. Um, this is from a previous um, generation of um, of their holders. Now they have, they have like these little divot things here on either side that the other ones don't have. And this this has no signature on it. This is a blue label, of course. The yellow ones are uh, like their signature series, their version of it. So um, this is Princess Leia number one. This is a GameStop um, store variant. Now I got this in this. This is the first CBCS book that I ever bought because this book is tough to get because I don't know what the hell people at GameStop do, but they trash their books. They do not take care of their books. Um, maybe because they sell toys and video games and other stuff and the way they ship their stuff. And this book, I think originally was in a, uh, like plastic poly bag container and like bag. And, um, I'll, this book is tough to get in, in high grade. And I love it cause it's like a, um, Princess Leia here, um, it's like a propaganda poster, like that Uncle Sam recruiting poster to get you to join the army. I believe uh, around World War One or World War Two era. So it's similar to that. Um, pretty cool, you know. I like it, but this thing is very tough to get in a nine point eight. And at the time that I bought it, I could not find a CGC copy of it. I saw a lot of nine sixes, a lot of nine fours, but I really like this cover, so I wanted to get it in a. Um, a 9.8. So CBCS was the only way to fly for that. So I don't like this um, quite as much with, with all this stuff happening up here and the, the case. I don't like it as much as the, the new case that they have now because I think this is the case slightly before that from a previous generation. Uh, excuse me, had a little drink there. So anyhow, yeah, so this is pretty cool. I like it. So um, it's not so bad. It's it's not that great, but uh, I think they have improved their cases with the ones that they have now. Now, I wish they would upgrade their label a little bit, um, maybe to like highlight the, the little box here where the, the grade is, but I don't know. They're under new leadership now, so maybe they'll make some changes. Maybe they'll come around. Maybe they'll change. Maybe they won't. I don't know, but pretty cool. So this is um, Princess Leia number one, uh, GameStop uh, video game store edition variant pretty cool so yeah so you can see down there in the corner it says GameStop so that's the other one I have now the last one I have is also um a uh store variant this is Disaster Inc uh by El Rey Comics I believe there's only 300 of these ever made now this book is is kind of convoluted it has a lot of stuff going on I got this book during the pandemic it's signed by um, Peach Momoko. Yeah, right here. So I pre-ordered this book from El Rey Comics and they had to send these books, I believe, to Japan where Peach Momoko was during the height of the pandemic. And the problem was that um, Japan didn't have a lot of packages going in and out of their country due to the pandemic. They were just like more strict, I guess. So it was difficult to get books in and out um, of Japan. So... Um, so I pre-ordered this through, through, um, El Rey Comics, which I think is a, uh, comic book store, I believe on the West Coast. So I'm in New York, by the way. So I believe they're in California, but I'm not exactly hundred percent sure. So, um, I wanted a book signed by Peach Momoko. I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Look at that. The samurai, he's a badass and you know, she's Japanese. So I'm like, wow, that's an absolute win. Totally cool. So they had a thing where, um, it was limited to 300 copies of this variant and then on top of that, she was only going to sign 25, right? And then uh, in addition to the 25, she was only going to remark, uh, put like a little sketch or a remark on five. So there was going to be 300 uh, just, just you know, raw, and then uh, 25 that were signed. And in addition to that 25, there were going to be an additional, 20, an additional five that were signed by her. So for a few bucks more, you could get the remark. And I was like, oh, so why don't I just go for that? So let's, let's see what that's about. So this book is one of the five. Um, and, uh, from what I understand of the five that have the remark, one of them came back in 9.6 because when I was on Instagram, uh, I don't have Instagram anymore, but I used to, um, 
the sellers uh, sent me a picture showing that the books had come back from Japan, and one of them was a 9.6, and four of them were 9.8s. So um, this has a remark on it that I'll show you. Now, down there in the corner, like right here, she drew like another little samurai guy. I hope you can see it. Hope it picks up on the camera. This is her signature, how she writes in uh, her native Japanese uh, language and her, her, uh, her writing. So, yeah, so she did like this little little remark here. Oh, man, I hope this is showing good right here, the little samurai guy on this. So in addition to all of that stuff that I told you, this book also is an error because this book has a printing error on it where um, on the back, it's supposed to say what the name of this book is. And this book is called Disaster Inc. Number One. And on the back, down the bottom, right there, it says God Killers Number One. This is an error. It's supposed to say uh, Disaster Inc. Number One. So it says right here. So they had some kind of printing mix up, I guess, at the, uh, the printer or the, the factory or wherever these are made. So yeah, so this is cool. So. Um, so this is her signature here. This is the little remark that she did, or, or sketch as they call it. And then it says up here um, on the top, if you can see it, it says uh, witness, with, witness signature, Peach Momoko with sketch on, let's see there, 8-12-2020. So this is a, um, a witness one, not a verified. So this is my other one. And this was the first um, book that I'd ever gotten from CBCS with their newer case, the one that they're using now. So this is pretty cool. I like this. So um, yeah, I had to get the one with the sketch because it was only like a few bucks more. And I was like, you know, hell, why not? Um, Peach Momoko, were pretty cool. This was like when she was at the height of her powers, uh, kind of when she first came out. And I I, I love the like, detail of like his face and all of that. Beautiful. Great work. And, you know, because she's Japanese, he's a samurai. That's a win-win. So I dig that. Um, yeah. So these are all my books for CBCS. I figured I'd show them off because I don't know when I'm ever going to get a chance to show them all together, because these are the only ones I have. I just have five CBCS uh, books in my collection. Most of the other ones, well, all of the other ones that are graded are all CGC. Um, I have like, you know, quite a few of those, but these are the ones I managed to pick up to the CBCS and I figured I'd show them off. So it took 10 months for the first three books that I showed you to come back, but they're finally back. And I'm going to Terrificon at the end of this month with my wife and uh, her cousin and her husband and uh, two little boys. Christopher and Little Luca. So we're going to go do that and hang out. It's going to be great. And I got a room at this place. It's a casino. So it's great because when you're at the convention, you can go back up to your room and put all your junk upstairs. And you don't have to carry it all around or run back to your car. So it's really good. So awesome. So that concludes my video for today. Those are all my comic books. Uh, if you get the chance, please go over to my friend Hialeah Comic Bro, his channel. I'm going to attempt to leave a link to his channel at the bottom, somewhere in the uh, description of this, uh, I'm gonna work it out. And uh, he has a great channel. He's got a lot of Silver Age books, he's got Bronze Age, Moderns, everything. And uh, he has also uh, a video series he did where he was interviewing people in the comic book community, including myself. So that's called Inquiring Minds, and I appear on episode number six on Inquiring Minds on Highly a Comic Bros channel. Please go over there and check it out. He's got a lot of great videos. Uh, he also has other videos on uh, like pop culture. I've also appeared on his uh, series called Afternoon Delight, which is just silly talking about movies and Disney Plus and um, you know MCU stuff and, and music and all sorts of stuff. And uh, he also does a, um, during the football season, if that's your jam, he does a thing called The Johnson Show, where he talks about NFL uh, professional football with his, his panel. I've never appeared on that, but sometimes I'm in the chat. Um, so yeah, man, he does a lot of great stuff. Go check out my boy, Highly a Comic Bro. He lives in Florida. I live in New York. I've never actually met him, but YouTube is a magical place where you can meet people and make friends. And I certainly have with my boy, Raul, uh, Highly a Comic Bro. Love that guy. Just just an awesome community member. And uh, go check his channel. Give him a shout out. Tell him Goat99 sent you. So that's it for today, guys. Until the next one, thank you for watching.